New gameplay has recently been shown off for the next game from the creators of Warframe. Digital Extremes, the developers and publishers of Warframe, are starting to show off even more of their new title Soulframe, and we can expect even more details and news coming on the game soon at this year's Tenocon. Soulframe is set to be free to play and an MMO, which isn't going to be too surprising if you've played Warframe before, as it's also free to play and offers lots of multiplayer content. But what MMO or multiplayer games have you guys been playing recently? I'd love to know in the comments down below. And you can support us and this video by hitting that like button and subscribing so you don't miss out on the next gaming update from us here on the channel. Unlike Warframe with its focus on sci-fi fast-paced shooting, Soulframe has a fantasy setting this time, with an emphasis on more weighty and methodical melee combat, but it does also feature magic too, with spells and abilities being part of the gameplay. In the past, the team behind this have actually praised Elden Ring for being a fantastic game, and have had internal talks about it. So it's looking like there could be inspiration from the game that I think will mean we're going to get elements of Elden Ring in this, but hopefully with their own twist. We do also know that PvE combat is going to be a focus of the game, and much like Warframe, it's going to have procedurally generated environments and tile sets, which I hope can be done well and is done somewhat well in Warframe, but depending on how many hours you play, if you get into the hundreds and thousands, you do start to notice it, so we'll have to wait and see how that functions. It's important to note though that for the newly revealed gameplay, the chief creative officer, Steve Sinclair, has said that it's more of an internal combat prototype to show us the flow and pace of Soulframe. They say it's still got a lot of janky stuff in it and it isn't a traditional reveal. They say themselves it's just them making bad decisions to show it off, but that's ultimately good for us, as we get to see this gameplay and a bit of a peek into what the combat might look like in the full game later down the line. The developers have actually stated before that it isn't going to be a traditional Souls game, but it does definitely look to have some Souls-like elements in it, with the combat having deliberate and timed movements to attack or block, and enemies reacting to the player, and even being cautious by guarding, which will promote the player to wait for openings before attacking. There also looks to be a stagger mechanic of some kind when you land hits on enemies, so there is definitely some crossover there, but it's still too early to say. We know that the game is still in development, but we can expect to see a lot more of the game and learn more about its story at this year's coming Tenocon. Maybe this is where they will reveal more about how it separates itself from Souls games, as they have previously said that they would show off its differences at a later date, and we're still yet to see those differences, so hopefully we'll see them there. Although there is no release date or platforms listed just yet, there are people speculating at a late 2024 release. But it's hard to say, and personally, I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at 2025 or later. With Warframe being available on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC, it does seem likely that Soulframe will be targeting many of these platforms too, which I think is pretty good news. I have to say, from looking at the gameplay and the combat, and some of the abilities which they only show a couple of, it does look pretty interesting, also a little lackluster. I know this is a very early showcase of the gameplay, but I was hoping for something with a little bit more spectacle. I do really like the ability that lights the sword on fire, I do think graphically that looks quite pleasing. But when it comes to the actual attacks on the enemies, I would like to see a bit more impact and a bit more flash to it. If you think about Elden Ring, you did have a lot of crazy abilities and weapon arts, so I hope they can kind of push it in that direction. This is an early combat prototype, so with that in mind, I do actually think it looks pretty good for a prototype version of the combat, but hopefully they can really build and expand on this. I will also say that graphically the whole thing looks pretty good. There's definitely going to be a high level of immersion in this world, and I will say I do love the fantasy setting, so this could be something right up my street. It will also be super interesting to know how they're going to deal with different weapons or armor, as in Warframe, that is a big feature of the game, to farm parts and then build those new Warframes. So it'll be really interesting to see how they make the systems in Soulframe for progression and unlocking new things. Remember, as mentioned before, this is an early prototype of the combat, but I'm going to leave it with you guys so you can see it in all of its glory for yourself. Yeah. Scott's going to just go through and fight a few enemies, and I think that'll kind of be it. No pressure, Scott. No pressure. <laughs> it's fine. It's only up from here, right? Mm -hmm. That's right.
Oh, he got hit. Don't worry, I turned on God Mode Scott. It's good, I need it. Thanks for watching and the two videos on screen now we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. Of course you don't have to click them but if you did find this video interesting or helpful you should probably check these ones out too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below. <laughs>